So, I'm starting off the video pretty much halfway there to where I'm going to be picking up my car. I know I haven't said what car I'm getting yet, but as if I put it in the title or the thumbnail or something like that, then you'll know, but I probably won't just to surprise everybody. So, yeah. Well, we're stuck off right now in traffic, pretty much just just traffic on traffic. So, when we get there, uh, I'll take a few shots of the car, you know, I'm going to check it out, and from there on out, I'll get back to you guys. Now we're pretty much just waiting for the guy to get here to uh, pretty much get the car. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it real quick. So as soon as you take this off, the fucking the hood starts stripping down. Right. Because of the heat. Batteries in there. I'll have to jump it. I'm not sure because I know. Did you notice that door was open? Was yeah. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I was gonna because say yeah. that's why I thought it was breaking up, but it's not breaking up because of the map. Is so this it the ha timing? It has to either be the timing or the TPS. The TPS is right here because it's an S14 motor. Right. So uh, we had to switch the TPS to an S13. And okay. when we put it in, I, my voltage meter just wasn't hooked up. It has to be at like 0.50. Right. So we just kind of put it in there and we're like, you know, going back and forth to get it to where it could idle pretty much. Oh, Hey guys, what's going on? So I know I left the video off kind of at a weird place, but I was test driving the car and I know the clip cut out. Basically what happened was my camera battery died. When I got home, I was gonna make a little update video at the house, but my camera started giving me errors. So instead of worrying about the camera, I just moved on to worrying about problems that the car was having. So basically I took the car to a shop. I got a diagnostic done on it. They told me I needed to get a new fuel pump, a new ignition switch. There was a couple of other problems, but I paid to get those fixed just so I can get the car running and driving in a good condition, or well, decent condition at least. And I got an exhaust installed by them as well. So I'll show you the guys. I'll show you guys the exhaust afterwards. But basically, um, the car is running and driving now. I did have to put a few extra parts on myself that the shop didn't let me know, and there were a few extra problems that the shop also didn't tell me. So basically, those two problems were that I had one bolt holding up my differential so I had to put three more bolts in it and my radiator was actually cracked the whole along the whole top of it so I also actually have a leak coming out of a hose that has to do with the radiator anyway so I'll get into that shit right now but let me just go ahead and show you guys the exhaust that I had them put on it is a three inch blast pipe that is a it's an ISIS blast pipe
it is honestly very loud but I like it loud so that doesn't matter to me but let's just go ahead uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of the inside because I haven't really got to show you guys how I cleaned it up a little bit all I did really was put um, mats in it vacuumed it out uh, different shift knob But yeah, so basically I'll show you guys that the car does start up honestly on a dime. I don't have a air filter and the car is a little bit cold so that is why it's doing that. But yeah, the exhaust is pretty loud on it. I, I only put a screen over it just for the fact that I didn't get a filter yet. But, A, at least I'm not going to have any rocks or leaves or any debris flying into my engine anytime soon for the time being. I know that I am on some stock SE wheels, but, A, it is what it is. The car is basically stock, but, A, I can't complain. I did get the car for $1,900, and I paid about $350 bucks to get her running. And like I said, she is pretty cold right now. I haven't started her up at all today. But another problem that I did have to fix was, I don't know if you guys can see, I did put a new alternator on it. I have to put a new alternator on it and new battery. So basically that's all the problems that are with the car right now that I have found out that I have fixed. Um, I will show you guys where it is cracked along the radiator. Basically all right along in here. All there. All here. So that's where it's cracked. So I am going to order a new radiator. I'm trying to save up for uh, a pretty good one. I don't want to go ahead and buy just a $50 or $60 one off eBay. I kind of want to get a better one. I, I do have good plans for this car in the future. So I do plan on making this a build. Uh, if you guys do like this video so far, make sure you guys do subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks.